So I recently purchased an M1 iMac and I wanted to see if my Wacom Cintiq 16 tablet was compatible with these newer computers. By downloading the latest drivers from the Wacom website, I was able to use my tablet without a problem. However, unlike the older Mac computers, these M1 Macs don't have a USB or a HDMI port, so the only way to connect your tablet is to actually use an adapter or a docking station. I managed to get a $50 adapter from a local electronics store, which had the ability to connect the tablet's USB and HDMI cables together. But if you're planning to use a lot of ports, I highly suggest you to get a docking station instead. Once the cables were connected to my M1 Mac, I was able to attach the main cord into my Wacom tablet. The power started up, but it was still unusable at this point as I didn't have the latest drivers installed. So here's how you can get the latest drivers for your tablet. Head over to Wacom's official website, and underneath the product category, select your tablet. Now select the Mac OS driver and confirm your download. Once the download is complete, you can install the driver by double clicking on the DMG file. Now double click the package installer. Uh, if an access warning appear, just simply select OK and proceed with your installation. During the installation, you may be prompted with several security warnings. If this happens, simply open System Preferences and allow access for your Wacom drivers. Unlock the key by entering your password. Check all boxes that are related with Wacom. After you've done that, you can lock your key again and close everything. Now head over to your application folder and launch the Wacom Desktop Center that you just installed. Connect your tablet if you haven't already. The application should detect your tablet. From here, you'll be able to update your tablet's firmware so they will be compatible with your M1 Max. During the update process, you may be prompted with another security warning. Once again, just proceed and enable access via system preferences. Now you can restart the firmware update and everything should go smoothly. I never experienced any lags or crashes on this new M1 iMac. It is a very powerful computer that can get your work done fast. If you're a creative person that uses heavy software such as Adobe products or video editing programs, I'd say get this Mac. It's totally worth the price in the long run. However, the standard M1 Macs can only boot one external monitor. If you're the type that uses dual monitors or more, I'd highly suggest you to get the M1 Mac Pro or a docking station called Pluggable and run a software called DisplayLink. This will trick and allow your standard M1 Macs to boot multiple monitors at once. I've included a link in the description for anyone that is interested in this little hack.